so let me introduce uh, another way of uh, constructing the same single degree of freedom system and this time uh, not using two supporting columns uh, instead of using link elements link elements are special elements available in e tabs and sap uh, using which you can uh, impart some special features or special behavior in your computer model and there are several types of link elements available uh, link is an element which connects two node and uh, and then you can define a particular type of link uh, which can represent any of the special behavior which you want to include in your computer model so let me first uh, go to show you where you can find this option and then maybe their use also so let me click on define and uh, go to the section properties and then you have the link support properties support elements are actually the elements which connect with one node and link elements connect two different nodes uh, so let me click on this and there is by default one link element which is already there so this this model is already locked so let me open uh, another one which is not run already so that i can see all the available features there and now i can go to define section properties and link support properties and then i can even add a new link property or modify this default one so let me add a new property so we have to give the name of this link and then the, these are the available link types uh, our link can be of these types and each of them uh, is used for a specific behavior uh, there is a linear link type which simply acts like a linear spring and we can define our own stiffness to that spring and therefore uh, this can be one way we can model a single degree of freedom system a linear single degree of freedom system that we simply use define a linear link element and give our uh, property or stiffness value which we want to uh, use in our single degree of freedom system so instead of using columns and their lateral stiffness uh, we can use a link element also to develop a linear single degree of freedom system but we can also have uh, link elements which can represent different types of dampers there is a link element called hook element and gap element i'll explain it in a minute and then we can have a nonlinear uh, link element also multi linear elastic which means that it follows uh, a line nonlinear line uh, but it when it unloads it follows the same line so it is multi linear elastic multi linear plastic means that it can follow a different line while unloading so it is a detailed non linear uh, link element then we have some several types of other for example rubber isolator uh, friction or some other types of isolators also so dampers isolators and linear non linear spring behavior we can give it using the using the link type Uh, and defining a link element so let me first try to define the same linear single degree of freedom system uh, with the same time period 0.314 seconds uh, using the the link elements and not using the two columns so let me delete these two columns uh, let me simply delete them or maybe let me open a new model the other one a copy of this model so so that if i modify this one the original is still there so let me open this model and in that let me just uh, use the original beam let's not use the two columns right so let me just uh, delete this one and now i only have the beam Uh, let me exclude that view so 
frames can be extruded okay like this so i only have a beam now so let's connect this node end of the beam with this point here using a linear link element and similarly this number 2 also i can join with this base using a linear link element and the stiffness of that link can be set such that i get exactly the same uh, stiffness which is given in my problem in this case also i will all will, will result in the same same time period and the single degree can still be used for any forced vibration response so let me go to define section properties and then link support properties and let me just add or maybe let's modify this link property so modify this link property which is already defined so currently you can do is that first you can select the link type give it a name so let me call it as linear link linear link or a linear spring it can work as a spring so type should be linear obviously and there should be no mass uh, associated with that spring because it is not a physical spring it is simply a source of lateral lateral stiffness so it is massless so we will not give any rotational inertia or mass or weight and then we directly come to these directional properties uh, now the u2 is the direction which is in our global x direction u2 is the direction in which we want to uh, to have that link to be to show some stiffness in so although the link will be connecting these two points but it will have a lateral stiffness and that will be in the u2 direction u2 is parallel to the global x direction in this particular link case so let's uh, check all six degrees of freedom which we want to take control on and fix the other five except u2 right so we check fixed for all five degrees of freedom except u2 which is in the horizontal direction global x direction and then click on this modify show for all right so you will be taken to a new form in which again the same thing all six degrees of freedom are there but five of them are fixed only u2 degree of freedom is not fixed and therefore you are allowed to enter uh, a stiffness uh, directly a stiffness in the u2 degree of freedom right so our unit for stiffness is already kilonewton per meter and the stiffness which was given in our problem was 1600 kilonewton per meter if i go back yes it is 50 1600 kilonewton per meter so it is 1600 in our units so let me come back here and since i am planning to use two link elements instead of two columns so one link element should have a stiffness of 800 kilonewton per meter so I just defined an uncoupled stiffness uh, in the u2 direction which is equal to 800 kilonewton per meter. If I uncheck any other direction also, let's say I uncheck the fixed condition for u1 degree of freedom, then the program will also allow me to enter a stiffness in u1 direction, but we only require the stiffness in the in the horizontal x direction and all other degrees of freedom will be fixed if i go for stiffness is coupled option in that case the program allow me to enter the full stiffness matrix depending upon what degree of freedom i check or uncheck let's uncheck all of them in that case the program uh, wants me to have the complete stiffness matrix obviously half of the stiffness matrix i will enter and the other half will be same as this one so uh, if the stiffness is uncoupled we will only have the diagonal entries but if it is coupled uh, we will have the off diagonal entries also coupled stiffness means that any action in one particular degree of freedom also affect the action in other degrees of freedom and uncoupled means that uh, you only require to enter the diagonal entries 
or just one number for each degree of freedom and no off diagonal terms are required so uncoupled means that one action in a particular degree of freedom only affects uh, that particular degree of freedom and there is no role of the other degrees of freedom so in our case now we only require one particular degree of freedom u2 and all others will be fixed so only program is asking me to only enter one number which is the stiffness in u2 direction uncoupled stiffness in u2 direction for uh, this particular link linear link which i am defining i am also uh, i can also define the damping but let's not go into that detail currently just restrict ourselves to Uh, the stiffness of that particular link element so it is a linear link which will act as an uncoupled spring only in u2 direction with a stiffness of 800 kilo newton per meter and we will be having two of such links so let me click okay and this is our linear link so that's how we will control any of degree of freedom and will give our own behavior or our own stiffness to any of the degree of freedom we want so the total 6 degrees of freedom means three translations and three rotations but we will be focusing only on u2 translation so let me click okay and now this linear link is defined so now it is a simple spring element which can connect two nodes and it is having a stiffness only in the horizontal direction equal to 800 kN per meter So now let's draw that link instead of our two columns and fix the base of those links and we will see that we will we will be getting the same time period which we were getting with the uh, uh, when we were having those columns So let me go to draw and here we have draw links and let me just select from the bottom that linear link which is the only link which I defined so I let me click here and click at the bottom also so the link is defined already this is the symbol for link so let me right click outside and then again draw another link from here up till this point so this will conclude my link definition so now these links are just the sources of stiffnesses they are hypothetical springs in the horizontal x direction although the symbol is showing it in the vertical direction but actually we know that only the u2 degree of freedom is given with some stiffness others are all fixed so now let's run the model analysis and see what time period is is shown by our model or predicted by our model but first let's restrict these two nodes so i select the bottom two nodes and assign it with the fixed restraint so let me click on fix support and click okay so now let's run the analysis let me go to analyze and then set load cases to run and let's only run the modal case and maybe the dead load case let's not run the harmonic load cases which we just constructed i just want to show you the time period and then we will proceed further so i click on run and it may take some time to run the analysis okay the analysis is run already so let's go to the deformed shape and click on mode and the mode number 1 obviously it is it is going to have only one mode so now you can see that the time period is exactly same 0.314 which we were getting when there was uh, there was two columns supporting that beam so now instead of the two columns the same lateral stiffness is being provided by these two links resulting in exactly the same time period which we are getting from the analytical equation so this shows that uh, we can also construct a single degree of freedom system using link elements and in this particular case i use a linear link element 